Hello and welcome to our guide on performing driver updates. As usual, keep your machine connected to power throughout and make sure you're connected to the internet. Now, open your web browser and navigate to your manufacturer web page. I'm using an Acer machine, so I'll head to acer.co.uk. You can always Google search if you're unsure of the correct address for your unit. Each manufacturer has their own section for driver downloads. Often they're listed under support, drivers or download sections. Check the links in the product description for most major manufacturers' web addresses. So, here on the left you can see the section for driver downloads. Often you can enter your product number or serial number, or you can use the headings to locate your model like so. Again, most manufacturers have a similar model selection tool. Make sure you pick the correct operating system and your available drivers should be listed below. In this case, there are two different wireless drivers, Intel and Atheros, so we need to find out which wireless card is in the machine. So, for Windows 8, press the Windows key and X to open the Power User menu and select Device Manager. Under Windows 7, open your Start menu and choose Control Panel. You can then search for Device Manager using the search box in the top right. Now Device Manager is opened, we can see a list of all the hardware installed. Your wireless card comes under Network Adapters, and there you can see we have an Atheros wireless adapter. You can hold Alt and press Tab to cycle back to your web browser and choose the newest driver for your device. There's normally a button to start the download which is on the left in this case. You can save the file to install later or click Open to install once the download is finished. Download speed depends on your internet connection. This one's rather slow so I'll cancel it for now. Often you can download manuals too, and here you can see available BIOS updates. BIOS updates often fix issues related to battery consumption or charging issues. Before performing these, it's important to check that you have the correct model selected. Now you've downloaded your drivers, it's time to install them. And in classic Blue Peter fashion, here's some I prepared earlier. I've moved mine to the desktop, but if you selected Save when downloading, the files can be found in the User Downloads folder. So, here are two different file types. The NVIDIA driver is a self-extractor, whereas the wireless driver file is a zipped folder. So if you double-click this, we can extract the files. Windows 7 and 8 both have the option at the top of the window to extract. Set the extraction path to somewhere easy to find like your desktop and then click extract. So. Here are our extracted files. I'll minimise this for now and we'll look at the self-extractor for the graphics driver. This is a security prompt as the file is what's called an executable. This makes sure unwanted programs don't install themselves without your permission. So now I'll click OK to start the extraction and as you can see the installation will start automatically once it's completed.
When it comes to graphics drivers for NVIDIA or ATI cards, I find it's best to go to the NVIDIA or ATI site for the most recent drivers as opposed to your laptop manufacturer's website. Most laptop manufacturers uh, don't keep the most recent driver on their page because they're updated far too often for them to keep track of. This type of interface is fairly standard for driver updates. Agree to the terms. Typically, Express Settings is fine. If you're installing a program rather than drivers, it's worth checking the custom settings as sometimes unwanted programs are included and can be unticked. Once that's installing, let's look at our wireless driver. We've got a number of files here. Uh, the one we need is the application, in this case it's called Setup. Again we get a security prompt, click Run, and choose your language. As we've got a video driver installing, we can expect the screen to go black once or twice. It's normal for when you're doing a display driver update. So again, the wireless driver wants us to accept the license terms and it's much the same process from there. I'm going to cancel this one as it's a good idea to only install one driver at a time and after most installations your machine will want to reboot. And there was the predicted screen flicker from the display driver update. Aside from rebooting, that is the process for driver updates completed. We hope this video has been useful. If you have any further questions, please use the contact us link in the video description.